There have been a lot of questions raised about our airport security, but how about this one? A man getting on a plane in Los Angeles had in his checked bag knives, a club, smoke grenades, handcuffs, and a hatchet. How did it happen? ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila explains. A lone traveler allowed to fly in a frightening getup from Asia to California. Yang De Harris's flight suit, fireproof leggings, knee pads, a Chinese knockoff bulletproof style vest, all covered by the stereotypical long black trench coat. But this guy is involved in some sort of delusion or fantasy that's totally inappropriate, obviously. In fact, sources tell ABC News Harris, carrying only a laptop, wore that vest through security in China, but was taken aside and questioned during his route through South Korea and Japan, then allowed to proceed to the United States. When he landed in Los Angeles, a customs agent noticed the unusual garb, checked his bag, and police arrested him. He had just a, a myriad of items in his checked-in luggage that raised a lot of suspicion. He had uh, you know, ga ga a mask, gas mask. Uh, knives, handcuffs. Still, it may surprise the average passenger, none of that frightening gear, not even the body bags in his luggage, is banned from planes. Only a smoke grenade also found in his checked luggage is illegal, and the TSA is investigating how Korean authorities let it get aboard. And while it could have produced plenty of smoke in the cabin, Harris had no access to it in the cargo hull. It was not rigged to detonate on its own. Weapons are found. Bags are left unattended, uh, people go into uh, quarantine areas, things like this happen all the time. Police sources say Harris told them upon his arrest, this is a game. And while he was dressed for one, it's clearly not a game Homeland Security is willing to play. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.